All right, now that I have my <clears throat> website, my About Me website completed, um, I am ready to upload it to the Home to server. And so what happens is FVCC has a web server and it's on campus and it has accounts in <clears throat> for each student registered at FVCC. So you guys all have your own account. Now, before this week, one of the things I asked you to do is um, find a FTP or a secure file transfer protocol. I use CyberDuck on my Mac, but WSFTP works great as well. And so what I'm gonna show you right now is how to take your completed assignment and put it up on the FVCC Home 2 server. In order to do that, <clears throat> first off, let me tell you that in the agenda today, I've linked to this, it says upload to the Home 2 server. This is a document that has been put out by um, MIS on campus. And the, if you click on Home 2, it actually tells you how you can get into the Home 2 server. So um, it tells you what to put in for the host name, what to put in. So your username and your password is how you log in to the computers on, on campus. And so it's your first name, middle initial, last name with your password, which initially is capital N-E-W with the six digits of your birth date. This file here shows you how to do the home too um, and how to log in. And then it also shows you how to get right to your home to directory, which if you click on directories, <clears throat> then you type in home forward slash and your username. So this document here gives you instructions if you have a PC and you're using a WSFTP, which is WinSCP. I'm gonna show you how to do it on a Mac using CyberDuck, and either one works, but you need to make sure that you get your entire root folder uh, posted up on the Home 2 server. That's how you're gonna submit assignments. Now, the first couple times it might be a little choppy, but after that, it should be um, just sort of like an old trick that you know how to do, like riding a bike. So how I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is at first, I'm gonna make sure that my home page is saved. So I'm gonna go to file and save, which it is, it's grayed out. So that means I've saved it. And then I'm gonna launch my CyberDuck app. I'm gonna click on this little open connection. And <clears throat> for mine, I wanna make sure that I'm using <clears throat> Um, uh, I'm going to type in, oh, I need it to be a secure file transfer protocol. So I'm going to choose SFTP and then my server name is going to be home2.fvcc.edu. My username is gonna be D-R-A-U-S-C-H-E because that's just my username. Yours is gonna be your first name, middle initial, and last name, and you're gonna put your password in. Once you do that, you can click on connect, and what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be connecting remotely using this FTP or SFTP to the Home2 server at the college. Once you log in, you're gonna see different directories. You're gonna double click on the one that says Home, and it might take a little while because there are lots of directories. That's why I told you that if you have the um, SFTP <clears throat> WinSCP, you can use this little um, link over here called SH2 directory, and it tells you how to get there without listing all the directories at the college. I'm going to wait a second. It's going to load all my directories. And this is just patience. You just have to be patient sometimes when you're working with technology. I think there are over 30,000 directories, which is why it takes a little while. I'm going to minimize this window while I'm waiting because what you wanna do is you wanna be able to see. So over on the right side of my screen, I have my local files. 
And over here on the left side of my screen, I have the uh, directories at the college. I'm going to type in the search box up here, my username, and I can find it. So once you find your name inside that home, you can get into it. And then you're going to find a folder called public underscore HTML. That's where you put all of your websites. So I'm going to go into that folder. And then what I want you guys to do is I want you to make sure you're in there so you can see that up at the top the address is home and then your username and then public underscore HTML. You're going to take that root folder that has everything inside of it and you're going to click and drag it into that window. And now it's complete. I do want to mention that anytime you update your web page over locally on your own computer, once you save it, you have to click and re upload it again. And when it re uploads, it might ask you if you want to overwrite. So here it says, Do you want to overwrite? I'll say continue, and it uploaded again. So if you update it over here on your local computer, it is not updated on the Home 2 server until you re-drag it over. Now, in order to check to see if this is working, what you're going to go ahead and do um, is, well, the easiest thing for you to do is to go to the participants page. And you're just going to click on your picture. When you do that, you'll notice that the web address is called home2.fvcc.edu forward slash and then a tilde which is shift with a key that's just to the left of the number one and then it has your username and then it has a forward slash and then you can see it has your root folder that's why I want you all to make your root folder about me all lowercase no spaces now if I want to see mine up here instead of having Brittany's name I'm gonna put my username And I had to refresh it because I had an older version up there. But here it is. It works. I've now successfully uploaded my web page or my whole website called About Me to the Home 2 server. So you guys are going to go through these steps. You're going to upload your site. You're going to go to your web browser. You can type in home2.fecc.edu forward slash tilde your username forward slash About Me. Or you can go to the participants page and click on your picture. That is what you need to do before next week. So your assignments are due um, at 11.59 on the day before we meet.